you know, there's been a lot of good shows that have come out in the last couple of years. One of the ones that I was very interested in and have been very, very happy with is Henry Cavill's Witcher. Uh, now, that is one going into it that a lot of people were excited about, but it's like, are they going to be able to pull this off? Are they going to be able to make this work? Season one crushed it. The way they the way they use time and non-linear storytelling, because I, I can't remember how many episodes you got into season one where it's like, you start realizing, oh my God, these different stories have been telling have not been happening at the same time. There, I mean, it was it was a really cool mechanism to use that I don't really recall seeing being used very often. It was used great. Season two was great. I didn't think quite as good as season one. I didn't think season two was quite as good, but I still was thoroughly engaged with it, thoroughly enjoyed it. And they, of course, have been shooting season two or season three, and it is now official. Production on season three is wrapped. Henry Cavill sent out a pleasant, nice message to all the people who worked on it, acknowledging all their hard work, saying, go get a great rest. And there's an official uh, synopsis for it out now that reads as following. As monarchs, mages, and beasts of the continent com compete to capture her, Geralt of Rivia takes Ciri on, uh, to Sintra into hiding, determined to protect his newly reunited family against those who would threaten to destroy it, says the official synopsis for the third season. Entrusted with Ciri's magical training, Yennefer, who loves being naked, leads them to the protected fortress of, here we go, Aretuza, where she hopes to discover more about the girl's untapped powers. Instead, they discover they've landed in a battlefield of political corruption, dark magic, and treachery. They must fight back, put everything on the line, or risk losing each other forever. I, Rob, we talk about the word tangibilization a lot. This makes me so excited. I, I'm so happy to see this show come back. The fact that it's done production now, I don't know when they're aiming to have it released by, because obviously they still now have a long process of post-production to do, but I have loved this show so far. Hearing that season three is shot makes me happy. This synopsis sounds great to me. Anyway, Witcher season three is now wrapped up. What are you thinking? I think, well, I think Witcher is a very respectable show. I mean, it's, it, it, it might not reach the highs that we want, but it keeps. It's, it's not Game of Thrones. No, it's it, but it's a good simmer, good boil. Uh, I like the show, and and to know that season three shot. I mean, I'm sure they have a long post production process. We probably won't see it till the spring or summer. I would imagine, maybe earlier, but I doubt it because you're talking ten episodes. That's a lot of post. But it's cool that that it's done and ready to go. And I like the fact that Henry Cavill's communicative. Obviously, he's allowed to do that. You know, Netflix says, yeah, go ahead and tweet or whatever. But it's exciting. I mean, I think that that it's a good show, and um, that's all you can ask for, really. Chris, what have you thought about Witcher? Are you looking forward to season three? Friggin' love this show. And I will say, I, I never read the books. I kind of tried to read some for when I had to do assignments about the show, and I read some of the original comics um, from way, way back in the day. Um, the Polish translations are very, very hard to find. <laughs> but <laughs> the game is super fun, and I love that Henry Cavill is so committed to this character and such a book nerd where he's on set giving notes about things and saying things like, well, actually in the book, this happens like this. And I think that really, really shows in this show. You can tell how passionate he is. He's so committed to this character. He kind of married the game and the novel with the vocal work he's doing too. That low gritty voice he does for Geralt is so good. I really have fun with this one. I love how just like campy and like ridiculous it can be at times, but then also have really, really beautiful grounded moments that are really human. Yeah. And the creature work on the show, I think is astounding too. No, it's, it's, oh, uh, actually, yeah. yeah, the creature work is They're, really, it's well really done. cool. It's really TV. fun. So I'm pumped. This is one of my favorites to watch. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Witcher season three is now wrap production, going to be getting ready to head TVs. Now it's going into its post-production. What do you think about the synopsis? Are you excited? Have you been watching the show at all? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Now, guys, you know I love Manscaped. You've heard me go on and on about the Lawnmower 4.0 and mm, that body wash. I love it so much. And so we got to ask, guys, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting, and your lawn needs mowing, gentlemen. And you guys know Manscaped is more than just one product. They have a whole lineup of products to help you guys feeling, smelling, and looking your best. And so Manscaped is proud to present to you the Performance Package 4.0, which is the only tool that you need to keep your boys looking, smelling, and feeling good this spring. Now, to start off with, you get the 
Lawnmower 4.0. Guys, we have talked about this. What is wrong with us? Why have we for so long been using these terrible tools that were never meant for cutting our hair down there? The razor clipper things on our electric razors. That's barbaric, guys. You need the Lawnmower 4.0. And then there's the Weed Whacker. You guys have heard our own Ray Aura talk about this thing. He loves using it to get that hair in your nose and the ear hair. And then they offer lots of other stuff like the Crop Preserver. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. The Crop Reviver. It's a spray-on toner for your balls. And of course, they've got the perfect grooming tool for your face with the Plow 2.0, the perfect razor for the finest shave on that face. So guys, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CAMPIA. That's C-A-M-P-E-A at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the promo code Campia at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life.